they don't really realize though. This next verse, this next verse though. These bars. Watch this. Go. Poop it, you scoop. Scoop dee dee whoop. Whoop dee scoop dee poop. Poop dee scoop dee scoop dee whoop. Whoopy dee scoop whoop poop. Poop do dee whoop scoop. Poop. Poop. Scoop dee dee whoop. Whoop dee dee scoop. Whoop dee dee scoop poop. I just love this song. So I'm just gonna let it play. Standing in line, I just love this show tonight, and there's a light on. Heavy glow. By the way, I tried to say I'd be there. Waiting for Danny the girl is singing songs to me beneath the marquee. Overload. Steak knife. Car door on stick knife. Carport. Car shark. Car shark. Car shark. Loophole. Loop magic. Steak knife. Steak knife. Rib cake. Soft tail. Standing in line to see the show tonight. kids brother if fucking kids was enough to stop me from liking your music i think we'd all have to clear out like most of our library do you like hey, music thanks from for the creating 70s? a space for one of the do greatest like music from the 70s there? 80s 60s 50s i'm not justifying it trust me i'm not but god i know red hot chili peppers can slap and also fuck kids not related <laughs> current era he's fucking kids now Oh, boy. I mean, fuck, MGK is like an A-list celebrity. And he's like, yeah, she was like, I don't care if she's 16. I'm going to act up, bro. It's like, I swear, if you keep me out, in, I'm going to break your fucking paw. Magic. Um, 
Not justifying it, by the way. I'm just more so saying that, like, yeah, well, you know, yeah. And, and hey, Kanye hates Jewish people, but poopity scoop, you know what I'm saying, guys? It's Come like on. Ignition remix. Crank that. Bumping it for life. Really, though, if you can, if you can, uh, if you ever get, like, a really bad charge, just just release, like, a banger album, and people will be like, man, it sucks he did that, but, like, Woo. graduation, bro. Bro, my cat just stopped meowing. I got you. I, I'm a bit of a cat whisperer. Shit, you just months. threaten them. Um... Tolerance of nonces, ick. It's April of Love, so I'm not gonna go in on you, but I'm gonna write your name down. I'm gonna write your name down. Just so you know, okay? I am, it's April of Love, but I'm saving your name. Because boy, I got a lot to say. But oh, April of Love, baby, I have COVID. I hope you're doing okay, stay safe, you know, stay home. Looking like a Don't give me a kiss. BB. Share the name, uh, where'd they go? Their name is, yeah, cause, uh, may may mayhem is gonna be coming strong. Oh, I think I lost the name. Uh, you're lucky. Speak up again. Oh, there we go. A U L D underscore Dankenhoof. <clears throat> I think that's the thing, right? If you if you think you don't listen to music where someone in the band has done some horrific crime, release your Spotify. I would bet every dollar to my name, every person who thinks they're above listening to like music like that, I would bet every dollar to my name release your whole spotify and i could find double digit percentages of musicians you have on your likes who have committed heinous crimes it's just reality huh? bro music especially back in the day these motherfuckers were just like going on tour i swear to god they would go on tour open the doors up i don't need to see your id just come back and suck my dick like it was it, it was the wild west through decades and i would even go so far to say as uh even now it's still happening and i think they've just got better at hiding i, listen to I mean look at this diddy shit that's going on it's like the like dude was just like i'll take like two male prostitutes i don't care about their age fuck in front of me and like he had teams of people being like oh, all right shit all right <clears throat> Joke's on you, I only listen to the Wiggles. Bro, every member of the Wiggles personally has cornered me and fucked the shit out of me. Stream and that's a real thing that you can take to the bank. What if I only listen to rap? 43 You're months. safe, dude. I think rappers have an image of being Pancake. appropriate. <laughs> Consensually though, right? Well, yeah, I wanted to fuck them. Mm. Yeah, I got back from my appointment and I hit up some, I hit up T-Bell as a little celebratory. I did not get dilated today. I hit up some T-Bell. Got a little Baja Blast oh, no. Zero Edition. How's your tiny eye? Well, I don't want to make it about that today, but uh, had a little doctor appointment, like I told you guys, and I said if it all goes well, I will stream, months, and I didn't pounds. have to get my eyes dilated, so that was awesome, so I can actually see. Uh, my <clears throat> my vision's getting better. That's what we were testing today, and Just I have four follow-up appointments. Time, funny oh, God. So that's going to be annoying, but most of them don't fall on stream days, and the ones that do fall early enough to where if it's in and out, I'll still be able to stream. So we'll see. That's that. Also, I'm not my green screen. Okay, warning. I know some of you guys really hate this, but I want to show you. I, my IV's still in because I have another day of IV at house. Do you want to see it? It's in my arm. I'll show you. If you don't want to see, you can look away. It's not bad. Um, but here it is. You ready? Just warn. I know some of you don't want to see it. It's kind of gross, the though. Quick draw deck. Legit bonkers. Yeah, look at that. That's been in my arm for like four days, baby. Yeah, they say I'm a bit of a medical anomaly. They say, how can a man's heart function with such a large penis attached? And I said, I don't know. Just keep loading me up, baby. Home IV. How you feeling? I what feel good. Woo? Like, really, I feel fine. You know, just mostly like anxiety. Um, <clears throat> hi, Dad. How I? Good. Vision impa uh, impaired. Impaired. <laughs> True. But vision also improved from last time. We did a bunch of uh, my color is coming back. Um, so I can actually, you know, I can see like Mexicans again. I can see black people again, which, you know, um, but also just slight improvement overall, which is good. Good. Uh, so today, can you drive? Yes. I never couldn't drive, by the way. I've always been able to drive. My right eye is solid as a rock. The country. Um, no, really though, but uh, it's getting better. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, well, without further ado, we have short little stream today. Um, was the nurse g got today? They they freaking came and they're like, the first thing I said was like, hey, can we anything to not dilate my eyes today? I want to be able to 
like work. Don't I don't. By the way, I say work because it's easier than saying I'd like to, to be able to open magic cards to an audience of thousands today. Like, no, I, I go. Can I, I want to work today? Can you not die on my eyes? And they're like, oh, let me go check with the doctor. I'm like, please God. And they come back and they're like, we're just gonna numb them. I'm like, okay, we'll take that. By the way. I'm a tough guy at the doctor. I do what I got to do. But my body has the worst uh, um, uh, reflexes to where I'm literally, I'm like, hey, just so you know, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to scream or cry. But my eyes are very not, they're very responsive to things getting put near them. I'm like, you're going to just have to pin me down. Like, if you're putting eye drops in, I will, I will resist you and I can't help it. I'm like, just, I'm like, don't worry about it. Just grab me and pin me. And I'll sit there and she's like, okay. So she goes, tries to put eye drops in and I'm like twitching and I'm like, I have no control over what's happening. I'm so sorry. Then they do this pressure thing that I'm just going to warn you. I've had my eye pressure tested three times. Each way it was tested was different. And I had a new pressure test today. It was the worst one I've had. So sometimes you look a little hot air balloon. They shoot a puff of air into your eye and it's all good. So other times she had like a gun and the light turns green. That one was a little worse. Today was the worst one of all. It was like a like a pen. So picture like a pen. And she's like, I'm going to poke your eye with this, but that's why I numbed you. Also, please don't squint. Also, please look directly at it. And I literally, t I'm like straight up. I was like, hey, my eye is not cooperating with me. So you're going to have to like hold me down. So obviously when something's coming at your eye and you can't stop it and they don't want you to close your eyes, you want to look away. So I keep looking away and she's like, I need you to look directly at the thing coming into your eye. And I'm like, okay. And I'm, I'm squinting. Like, she's like, hey, you can't squint. I'm like, so just let it happen. She's like, yeah, that's why you're numb. And so I'm seeing my eye like distort through the vision as she's poking it. And she's like, it's still coming up kind of high pressure. That's because you're squinting. We'll try again. I'm like, God, please. I'm sorry. Like, I'd rather be in pain. You know what I mean? I'd rather take the pain and the worst part too is like then you'll get some like 17 year old girl that walks in who's just like contacts eye drops doesn't give a fuck she's like la, 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 puts on a fucking eyelash i am so bad with eyes and i know some people just aren't if you're not bad with eyes please understand some of us hate it oh my god i can't have anything near my eyeballs at all um not even squinting just small target while i consider that mean i will give you that was funny my wang so tang you know you gotta get a lick Love you. Say it back. Thanks, man. Uh, Mr. I don't know if I thanked you, Mr. Rub one out, but if I did already, Follow here's a second box. one. Thanks for the 10. I All think right. Um, game justice. <clears throat> we have six Smiling. boxes of Outlaws of Thunder Junction that I'd like to open today, and let's talk about it. Let's talk about what we can get from this. I'm just stab myself. That's not good. Could you imagine an ER visit from like a self-inflicted stabbing at this point? Um, did you finish Fallout? Oh. My, my you know God, you did I finish Fallout? So I finished Fallout, and the hand. entire time I'm like, all right, what's Magic this big type. thing Move that everyone's one. saying Wubby's going to react to at the end? I'm not going to spoil it. Did you see it? I'm, also, no, what are your I'm not going to spoil it because I was told not to. Oh, AITTS is off. I'll turn that on. No spoilers, but uh, yeah, I did the thing. I clapped, and I cheered, and I went. I, the last five seconds of the episode, I, I did this. Ready? No! So, no spoilers, no spoilers. But, um, yeah, Fallout, the Amazon TV show, remains season one. I'm giving it a solid nine out of ten. Closer to a nine and a half than an eight and a half, I would even say. Solid nine. Strong nine. Strong recommendation. Fantastic. Um... Opinion on Maximus, the, the black guy's his character, is that his name? Um, my opinion hasn't changed on him, but the direction his arc is going, I am now much more invested. Is that fair? I don't like him at all, but the situation he ends up in at the end of season one, I'm sitting here like, you sold me. I'm, I'm, I am now, no. when he's on screen, I'm no longer like, ugh. I'm like, He's in, again, no spoilers, but he is now in a bit of a predicament. And I'm like, I'm interested. I'm, I'm, can I be real? Too many spoilers already? Brother, I promise you, this, these are not spoilers. Hey, I like a direction they took a character. If that's too much for you, if you're that concerned about spoilers, why haven't you watched it yet? You really, like, really, if that's a spoiler to you, you need to stop what you're doing and go watch it. Is your hand tattoo stipple shaded or are those freckles? Stipple shaded, well, both. 
is both. These, are, this is all that, but I do have freckles on my hands that you can sort of see. But this is, are you, do you think I have little black dot freckles? What show? Uh, yeah. Hold on. TTS, did it play? Nope, wasn't enough. Legit has idiot savant perk, but it's, go, it's, it's, I won't spoil anything, but I like the direction it's taking it. Um, are your tattoos upside down? For the camera? Alright, uh, if you're not, if you notice, uh, I lost a Thunder Junction, by the way, I'm a, hold on, I need to, what's like a good cowboy song? What's like a, what's like a, is, why does my mind go to Woody's Roundup? Is that fucked? Your shirt's pretty cursed. You like it? Big Iron? Okay, I'm noticing nobody's being responsive to Woody's Roundup, and that tells my brain to play it even louder. Here every day. Wood is roundup. Come on, it's time to play. There's Jesse the Oldland Cowgirl. That looks fucking retarded. I'm actually mad you even got that. I'm mad you got that as like a clip even. That was so that was frustrating. <sighs> is it because I didn't play Big Iron? Man, that looked really stupid. Also, my eye is like all sensitive now just from the amount of fucking light the they put into my eye when I go to these appointments. It's like looking day. at the fucking surface of the sun. He's like, don't worry, uh, you know. I, he's like, it's not going to damage your eye. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, there's a chance. What if you slip up? Um, then don't look right at the light. He goes, look at my ear. I'm like, okay, let me avoid the fucking sun in my vision. All right, so there are only four cards here listed, but I want to be very clear about this set. There are so many more than four cards. This set is juice magoose, bro. This set is value, and, and any nerds in chat who can help me if I miss value, there's so much to, to pull from this. There's so much that can be pulled. I just picked four of the top cards I've seen that I like, um, but there's, there's juice. If you get a sword, I'll cry. Well, Trashly... Um, let me show you. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been opening some boxes on my own, um, and I'd like to show you some of my biggest pulls. And I'd like to show you actually my all-time new favorite Magic: The Gathering um, foil treatment that they've done here. And I have a few to show you. I'm taking them out of their sleeves because this is now my all-time fave new foil they've done, and it's brand new for this set. By the way, L has a Thunder Junction. Let me just show you one of these boxes. Where is it? Uh, it's all cowboys. I like cowboys. I'll say this. I like cowboys in the old-timey fashion, like, not fashion, old-timey Wild West. I don't like current cowboy. And I want to make this so clear. The gro I'm, hey, sorry, Texas people, peanut in shambles right now. What, I don't even care. Cowboy hats in 2024 are omega cringe, okay? Shit kickers and raptor pickup trucks omega cringe now let me be clear if you own a ranch and you're hurting something and you get you go into town on a horsey god bless you get your spurs buddy okay i love cowboy aesthetic when it's of the time of like red dead redemption or if you're like a cowboy but dude who's who possibly on steroids having an absolute rage fit at, at like a bar downtown in his cowboy hat and his like perfectly waxed chest it is the cowboy aesthetic is the worst thing on planet Earth. Red Dead Redemption 2, badass. Men that smell like diarrhea who are just, yeehaw, I, I don't like people who don't look like me. Love that. Love cowboy here. Hate cowboys in real life. Just want to be clear here. I would think it's important to distinguish. So here are the, there's a couple types of, They've done a lot with this set. I think it was to get people interested in it. I don't think they needed to, but they've done a lot with it. And one of the things they did with it, they added a new type of foil. This is called like textured foil, I think. It's confusing. There's a lot. Uh, these can be on the prosperity. Po I'm not going to get too into it, but here's what they look like. This is my favorite raised foil. This is my favorite. Is it textured? I'm showing you the mana drain one. I think it's textured. Um, this is my favorite foiling magic's ever done. And I don't even know how it's going to appear on camera. I'm going to do my best to show you. This, all, all of that, like all those lines you see there, you can feel all of it. It is my favorite foiling they've ever done. These are super rare. 
Is this the aesthetic you're talking about? All right, that's a photo of me. Um, this is very rare. I've only pulled a couple of these, uh, and I'm hearing that there are not a lot of them at all. So I love the way it looks. It looks like it's etched into metal. It feels good. I've, I love it. I'll show you another one. This one's like red aesthetic, but and it's crackle with power. And then we have overwhelming forces. Look, it just, it looks like, I'm sorry. This has like, this has the monopoly on the greatest foiling treatment I've ever seen. It's so fitting for the aesthetic. It looks like old timey. It looks rugged. It looks cowboy. Looks like damaged foil. It looks good. And and I have to say, get your hands on one. It feels like, it doesn't feel like cardboard anymore. I, it's hard to uh, describe. It looks etched and it looks awesome. My favorite foiling they've ever done, but that's not even the most value. There is a slightly more valuable foil treatment that they've done here called raised foil. And I pulled this, of course, I pulled it off stream because I'm a fucking moron. Yeah, I was having health problems, okay? So let me do my thing. Let me have fun. This is the... So I just showed you what the mana drain could look like. It's that type of foil. These three cards are like... What are they called? Big, big score from the... Vo I don't know. There's so many different things going on in the set. But these are the real ju... My phone is ringing. Hold on. It's Nick with the garage. I can't take that right now. Um... These ones have normal foiling, they have non-foil, and then they have something called raised foil. Yes, it is very confusing, but I did pull a raised foil one, and uh, well, I'll just show it to you now. Yeah, it's kind of the juiciest card in the whole set. Um, so if you see the foiling here, it's actually textured on these little edges, and it's raised, and it's really cool looking. I like the etched one more, but this is uh, the most valuable card, I think, currently. Um, Sword of Wealth and Power. For those who don't know, by the way, slow your fucking roll. I know. I know. No way you pulled that. I did. I really did. This was in the first box that I opened. Uh, and I was like, oh, these must be common. No, it was a multi hundred dollar card. Um, let me read you what this does because this is going to be like a guaranteed auto include. And I think a lot of dicks. And a lot of fucking dicks. Sword of Wealth and Power. Uh, a quick creature gets. This is, by the way, such bullshit. This card shouldn't be made. A quick creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from instants and sorceries. All right. All right. Uh, whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. All right. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. All right. So they printed this overpowered bullshit sword. Protection from sorceries, protection from instants, plus two, plus two, treasure on damage, copy instant or sorcery. There's no drawbacks. Why does this card exist? And I got it in the best foiling. So the goal for tonight is to pull another one. There's so many options to pull from. There's so many good juice here. Two mana, yeah, it's Hi, five Wubby, mana Hi, Wubby, I've opened four Collector's Boosters and haven't opened that sword yet. Also, I collect Thoughtseize's Kappa just in case you get or have any extras. I, the new Thoughtseize looks so sick. All right, let's just get started. We have six boxes to get through. We might start getting degenerate if we don't get good pulls. It's not really good outside of Commander IMO. Well, I got good news for you, bro. Magic the Gathering is called Commander the Gathering because that's what people play. Um, Magic the Gathering is Commander. Sorry, bucko. I'm, I'm not denying that other formats exist, but you got to admit when I when someone goes, oh, this card is worth a lot, and you go, it's only worth a lot in Commander. It's like, you know, it's only worth a lot in the most played game type. I, I would argue that Commander is what is magic's like biggest uh money maker at this point like the amount of people i can get to play commander versus hey bro want to throw down some standard you guys want to throw down some modern like no no C commander is mid compared to modern i just so i so don't agree and i'm i think it's so that's because edh is pay to win I also so don't agree. Maybe in tournaments, but like sometimes, guys, we can all just sit down and have fun with our little decks and just slap it around, you know? Um, you'd argue it's been the moneymaker for years. Well, that one guy seemed to not think so. Um, Legacy makes me sad. Legacy, two players boring. That's all I was going to say. That's actually my only problem with other Magic formats is simply 1v1 is uh, not as fun. Not nearly as fun. There is nothing more fun than pulling a fast one on your friends through art. Like, no, don't do this. Do this. Trust me. Listen to me. Whereas in 1v1, there is no, like, conversation. There, You could actually go through an entire Magic game with absolutely no dialogue in a 1v1 format. Because 
there is no decision in that. It's it's if you have the thing, you choose to either do it to him or don't do it at all. Political gameplay, exactly. That's what makes it fun to me. Uh, politics are the best part of Commander. It's not even close. Exactly. Can I have any of the Corvid cards? What is that? No, you can't have those. What do you mean? I wasn't arguing Commander isn't the big cheese, Webby. You're right about that. Thank you. Thanks for telling me I'm right. That's really all I needed to hear. All right, I've opened a bunch of these, so we're going to go slow for you guys. I will say, I haven't looked at any of the commons and row commons yet. Starts with um, a treasure token. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, just a token. Usually on the other side is treasure. They have cool zombie ones. You're left. All right, here we go. The first card I think is the best possible slot. Not what we're looking for, though. Villainous Wealth! This is the prosperity cards. These are the cards that can come in the um, the textured. This is the sp this becomes this when it's get the special treatment, and we're hoping for at least one. I've not pulled many. I've opened a lot of boxes. I got mana drain, bro. They're so rare. Why are they so rare? Because they want people to search for them. I don't know what's happening. I'm just happy to be here. Well, let's read. Target opponent exiles the top X cards of the library. You may cast any number of spells of mana value X or less from among them without paying the mana cost. I found that any decks that steal cards from your opponents, it doesn't matter if your deck's good or not. Your friends won't let you play it. I, I, I've i had to scrap multiple decks where I'm just taking your top card because people, it doesn't matter. I'm like, the deck's not very good. And they go, I don't care. You're, you don't get to play. 3X seems too much. Is it though? It seems expensive to cast. Void Slime. Ooh. Yeah, I fucked that up. <clears throat> I don't think TTS is on. Not for 200 bits. Sorry. Pyretic Charge. Discard your hand, then draw four cards. For each card discarded this way, creatures... That's pretty good. Tiny bones. All right, there's an argument going on, and I need some lore. It's my one-year sub yeah. uh, versary. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Yeah. I've watched you for a long time, Wubby. Like your musical vids from back in the day. Damn. And I used Damn. to live in Chula Vista. Big W. Keep it up, homie. Chula Much Vista. Love star. Uh, Damn. Uh, what was my birthday? Happy birthday, Queen Banan. Hope you're doing well. Uh, guys, argument at my table. Settle it. Nobody wants to look it up because we're lazy. Is Tiny Bones a baby? I say yes. I am of the firm belief that Tiny Bones is a dead baby. Tiny Bones has to... Okay, let me ask you. If he's not a baby, how do we get a Tiny Bone? He's not a dwarf midget, man. He's not. He's not. He has a normal child skeleton. He doesn't have crazy little baby. He has a family. He's That's a baby. We'll talk about it. You're saying he's smoking a cigar? Brother, it's bones that have been reanimated. I don't care what he does. He has no lungs. Pitiless Carnage? Minus 200 bits now. Minus 700 bits. What? What? Tiny Bone him... This, uh, he's a baby. Decisive denial. Back for more. And then What's he gonna land. do? Die again? <laughs> this land cycle might be my favorite in a long... This might be my favorite since Ixalan. These lands are gorgeous. First off, for all my two-eyed viewers, you probably noticed that you can see the forest symbol nicely, subtly hidden within the um, cacti. This is the best land I've ever seen. It, or actually, Ixalan was probably slightly better. I love it. If you don't like the forest, give it a chance. There's There's way better ones too all right i haven't really looked at the commons or uncommons if there's anything i miss here let me know luxurious locomotive <laughs> kamigawa i like kamigawa yeah i don't dislike kamigawa um i don't like any sort of Fuck it, uh, Wubby, these bits are because a bit agree thank you I, I i uh i don't like any uh, vehicle decks or anything vehicle related does anyone run a good vehicle deck because they're not good sorry 500 bits to Green TTS. Blade. Wubby's TTS went up just like inflation. What a prick. Bro, I my TTS raises because there was posts on the subreddit like, it's too easy for people to disrupt the stream. Dracula flow is too loud. Brother, I have been asking DJ. Peanut has been asking DJ. Carlos has been asking DJ. Everyone has been asking DJ for two months to turn hey, down Wubby, Dracula I'm flow. The party. He doesn't. We pull anything notable yet. We did, bro. Look what we just pulled. Remember when we pulled this? First pack of the night, we just pulled this. Crazy luck. We'll see if lightning will strike twice. Jagged Barons. We'll be looking Tumbleweed at Rising. Jailbreak Scheme. Gold Pan. When Gold Pan enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. Okay. That's how you know it's a new viewer. I've been paying you $5 to shit talk stream for years. Yeah, real. Real. Are your boxes American or Japanese factory? How do I find that out? If you could tell me how to find that out, I'll, I'll figure it out. Here we go. Big pull. Here it is. 
Ah, oh, pest infestation. It's still a good card. Destroy up to X target artifacts and or enchantments. Create twice X Finally one one black gates. and green. Pest. Any suggestions for a couch couple with great income that just got into magic? Uh, uh ooh, that's a Wubby, difficult I have question. an absolute banger vehicle deck with Grease Fang OKB boss as the commander. Don't trash vehicles. Send it to me on Moxfield, or like send me a link on Moxfield. Uh, back of the booster will tell the uh, opening. Loose wrapping on packs, rares in front, Japanese. It says it so on the Japanese bottom made? of the cardboard. It will say made in USA or in Japan. The Japanese Where? ones are usually rare in the Tehi front and better quality cardboard. These are rare in front. These are these are rare in front. Is this a humiliate? Oh, this poor guy is all tangled up. There's so many reprints in this set, dude, that are just so good. So come on, boys. You, how can you tell me these don't look banger, bro? I'm the loud now what? Maybe you're listening too well because this ain't nothing to me, man. Nimble. Zakuma Primal Calamity was and still is the lead in my commander deck. Love me some Dino Hoochie LMA. Nice. I hope you reach Kaitanat levels of views every stream from here on out. Thank you. I, I would never want that level of success, though. I'm going to be very honest with you. I would live and die happy if I, if I maintained around the success I've been at, genuinely. Lava Spur Boots. Look at him. New Boot Goofin. Free Strider Commando. Does this person have a... So they have a horse penis? Or do you think under this little area here, there's just a male, like a small or a normal-sized human penis? Or do you think they have a horse cock? What do you think this guy has? Br brid bridled Bighorn. It's a sheep mount. This set added uh, uh, mounts, and I kind of like it. I'm kind of into it. If you don't know how it works, it's like they're kind of just better vehicles. I could be wrong, but uh, Daring Thunder Thief. And it's another mount. There you go. See? Okay, you can saddle them. Tap any number of other creatures you control with power one or more. This mount becomes saddled to end of turn. Saddle as a sorcery. They're worse vehicles? I th Are they worse? I thought they were better. Are they not better? I kind of like it. There's like a good... There's at least one good commander here that has the mount mechanic. Oh, wait. Is this where it'll say if it's made in Japan? USA, Canada. Is that... Who gives a fuck? Is that where it was made then? So is this not Japan? It's a horse donger. It's a gigantic 16 pounds obelisk of pure unadult rated flesh. Of course you would like mounts. Also on the card. It says made in Japan below it. Made in where? Japan or USA on the bottom left. Oh, on the made in Japan! Oh shit! Oh shit! So we got the good? Yo, we got the good? Sugoi? Is that rare? Japan packs? You Yo. got me back into magic after Yo. 10 plus years. Is that good? Um, I went to my first pre release this weekend and pulled Ooh. the tiny bones and had so much fun. So is it Thanks, a baby? Papa Wubs. Is Can it I a have baby? a kiss? Oh, okay. So this is the, uh, what is it called? Big score, whatever. These are like rare. I don't even know how this shit works, but um, why did this guy get so much hate? This guy's name. Key or Luck or what's his name? This little character is now that so you're skinny. On Twitter. Do you still wipe from the front? Oh my god, uh, boy! He's loot. Everyone hates him. This is a big hit. I, what's wrong with him? He's loot. He's cute. Come on, this will get your bitches into the game. Ele Electro dominance. I love the way these cards look. It's so cool. Bounty board from the commander set. Arc Arc Mage Newt. Right, I got my mount. first paycheck from my new job, and you fucking know it. I'm buying magic like nobody's business. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Terminal Agony. Look at how good that looks. Oh. Skewer the Critics. Am I right? That's going to be me on May. Ooh! Woo! God damn! Fun fact. Come on. Come on. I work at the mill that makes the paper for MTG and Pokemon cards. I don't believe you. I actually do not believe you at all. Why would I believe you? Con Congregation Griff. Another mount. So many mounts. I gotta make a mount deck. But you know what? You guys kind of turned me off of it a little bit. You're like, oh, so I'm that guy's uh, boss at his new job. And uh -huh. I'm firing him now that I, I know that's what he's wasting his money on. <laughs> I'm heading back to Ireland tomorrow to see my girlfriend. We've been long distance the past two years. Oh, on Wednesday, good for you. I'm oh, never going to do this again. Oh, Safisa. Oh, vehicle, vehicles. Are, I can't say the word vehicle. Vehicles are literally better. Mounts are better because they don't need other creatures to be a creature. That's what I was thinking, right? So the, the saddle mechanic, the, the creature functions as a creature, whereas like vehicles, they just sit there like doofus dog shit idiots. Am I wrong? Here we go. Three, two, one. 
Okay, here's a great example. This dude enters. He has an ETB. He has a he has Chat, two my four. boss just fired me. Can I get my sub gifted for the next couple months? K, listen, K, thanks. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, here's what's better about... This is why these are better than vehicles. It enters. It's a creature. It'll still be a creature. It's not just an artifact sitting off to the side. If I never saddle this, it's still a 2-4 with an ETB of Scry 2. How is that not better? Someone help me out. Like, really, though? Help me out. Is it not a good mechanic? Uh, log diggity. That's a weakness to me. Vehicles are resistant to board wipes. Destroy all... Fade from history. The trade-off is it's not an artifact. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Is that really it? Vehicles don't die to wrath. Uh, saddles do. Not better, just different. See, I like that. Not better, just different. There's so much more creature removal than artifacts, so it's a trade. Vehicles dodge removal better. They can't be destroyed, but they also just can't. You can't chum block with them. Dominaria, United, Stained Glass Lands, and it's not even close. Yeah, but okay, you're pulling back from Dominaria Reuni Reunited, bro. Um, Fell the Mighty. Angelic Sellsword. Ooh. Ooh, Jace is good. I believe Jace is a big hit. This is that new, new Jace. Dr Jace Reawaken. This is that new, new Jace. See what he does. I don't actually know what he does. Two drop, two blue. You can't cast a spell during your first, second, or third turn. I wonder why that is. That's such a weirdly, like, specific... Something must have happened in playtesting, and they were like, stop, 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 he's broken, stop. That's crazy. Uh, you can... Uptick, draw a card, then discard a card. Uptick again, you may exile a non-land card with mana value three from your hand. If you do, it becomes plotted. What yeah, is plotted? I got plotted? a flight out of Ireland tomorrow. My side piece said her BF was visiting or something of that sort. What does plotted mean? Um, pay now, cast later. Until the end of turn for minus six. Until the end of turn, uh, whenever you cast a spell, copy it. You mean, okay, that's crazy. Um, pay now, cast from exile later. When, uh, the same blood that you play. Oh. Oh, this is broken. <laughs> it doesn't even matter that you can't play it till the fourth turn. Who gives a fuck? Oh, that's kind of crazy for two. Wow, we're going to put that in the nice, good keep pile. World Wake Walker Helm. This is also from the big score. You can see the set symbols difference is big down there. That's why they make you wait till four. Uh, if you would create one or more artifact tokens, instead create those tokens plus an additional map token. <laughs> map is so boring. I don't know, oh God. If you run a clue token deck, you're dead to me, nobody cares. Buried in the, buried in the garden? Oh, mountain looks good. I don't like maps at all. Maps so dumb. Yo, it's this guy, he's a little axolotl bear commander. I read about this guy. Uh, spells you cast from your graveyard or from exile cost two less. Kind of good. Plotting cards from your hand cost two less. Kind of good. Kind of good. Kind of fun. There's a new Obeka in here, and I want you to know if anyone... I'll show you when she comes up. If anybody makes the Obeka deck, you are gamma levels of cringe. If you saw... The, if you see the new Obeka and you go, I'm making that. You, I already have it made. That's your... You are... The readings are off the charts for how cringe you are. Obeka might be one of the most cringe commanders in Magic, and the new one is just like you don't you don't want to play. You want your friends to watch you solitaire out the game. Deep Muck Desperado. This is kind of a cool little card. Forlorn Flats. We're still going slow while we're looking at these. Ooh, I made a zombie deck, and I took a lot of zombie cards from this set. I made a banger zombie deck too. Also, I gotta be real, zombie decks go accidentally infinite way too easily. <laughs> Why does, what is it called? Gr grave, grave crawler? That one that's a one drop that lets you cast from the grave? I'm sorry. Why does that exist? Phyrexian altar, cool. Infinite ETBs, infinite, like it's so ridiculous. Why does that exist? All right, here we go. It's funny. It is cool. It's a the it's a it's a flavor W. Oh, I got so excited. Bony Paul clear cutter. Is that a is that a big old ghost cow in the background? Is it, oh okay. Let's read what it does. Reach. It's so tiny. I'm just kind of blind here. When Bonnie Paul clear cutter enters the battlefield, create a create bow. You create a blue ox named Bow. 
Creature token, this creature's power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my God. Uh, whenever you attack, draw a card. You may put a land from your hand or the graveyard onto the battlefield. Ooh, this is a cute, this, you know what this is? This is called honest magic right here. This, this is the answer to all you Obeka cringe lords. This is good, honest magic. I like it a lot. Uh, Siphon Insight. So far, no huge hits yet. Ooh, Tower Winder. It's a Reach Snake Death Touch. Uh, whenever Tower Winder enters the battlefield, search your library and or graveyard for a card named Command Tower. What? Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm sorry, what? This is just a Command Tower Fetcher? I'm in disbelief that this what I'm not even saying this is the crazy it's just so specific cool all right I like it oh this was a cute one cute little commander I saw reach death touch yeah this is good this is very good that is a really good card two drop reach death touch and a command tower fetcher Whew. that's just so good oh that's so good Rush of Dread. Yeah, I haven't read most of these yet. Um, so it's cool to like slow down and read them. Humiliate again. God, you guys don't like these lands? Oh, how bitter are you guys? We need to just put a little love back in the world. This is, oh. Read Rush of, okay, I'll read it. Hold on, let me go through. Oh yeah, I'll go, I'll read in a second. Betrayal the Vault. Neutralize the guards. It's hey, a rambling possum. Assassin's Creed set coming out in I'm gonna be yeah, Leonardo motherfucking Da Vinci, bro. I already, I'm making a Leo business. deck. <sighs> That's all. That's my opinion. Rambling possum. Mine Raider. Ew. Frog Beast. Let's me good, because I have a frog deck. Uh, do you want the card trick for these? Sure. Um, whenever Spring Splasher attacks target, target creature defending player controls gets minus. Now nah, that wouldn't help me in my deck. Okay, and Desert Charizard D. clears all these, followed by the five pieces of Exodia Nerd. Did you just say Charizard clears all these? Hey, brother, are you have you turned 19 yet? All right, let's read this. Rush of Dread. So it's a spree, which I, I do know what it is. I know what spree means, okay? Because it says on the card, you can add these costs to do multiple things. So plus one, target opponent sacrifices half the creatures they control. Round it up. What? Plus two, target opponent discards half the cards of their hand. Round it up. What? Plus two again, target opponent lose half the, oh my God, this is so mean. This is, so, you could fuck one person's whole everything up. Oh my God. Five to the side, wait, 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 wait. Five to the side, two to the back. Five to the side? What is, okay, Peanut, hold on. I'm gonna read what Peanut says is the card trick for this and let's see if this, this doesn't even make sense. Hold on, okay. He said, so, okay, five to the side. What does that mean? Bro, you gotta, you have to understand what the fuck did you, five, move five off to the side. So from here, do I go one, two, like five from the bottom? Okay, how, what are you considering the bottom? Is, is, is this the bottom? Is this the bottom? <laughs> Behind the token, not the token. Yes. Token side bottom. Okay, okay, so, so. One. This has texture. This has texture. This has texture. I feel the texture. One, two, three, four, five. Oh shit. Okay, now what? Not including the target. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what, Peanut? One more. Okay. That's six, though. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what? Because you included the token. I did not include the token. Oh, never mind. Oh, you're retarded. Okay. All right, now what? Now what? Now what, Peanut? Two to the back. One, two. Okay. Okay, now what? Then the five to the back. All right. 
Okay. So we should be looking at uncommons or a land. All right. Here we go. Planes. Cool. There is a textured. I felt the texture. So get excited, boys. Prosperity Tycoon. Bovine Intervention. I really want to make an ox deck with that new ox commander. I kind of love the theme of it. I'll show you when we get it. Boombox. Failed fording. Conduit pylons. Phantom interface. Where, oh, I see texture coming up. Armored armadillo. Oh, Lord have mercy. He's got ward. Is that his armor? Texture's coming up. Texture after this card, I think. It's okay. Here we go. Texture. I think texture. Three, two, one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't have this one. I don't know if this is a good one. Ooh, we pulled one. Huge, by the way. Huge. Very rare. This is a fractured identity. I recognize the card name. Exile target non-land permanent. Each player other than its controller creates a copy, a token that's a copy of it. Ooh, ooh, that's toxic. Ooh, ooh. Fractured, yeah, just hit him. With, hit the soul ring. <laughs> hit the mana crypt. That's part of a three-piece infinite turn combo. Only 25 for this? Oh man, it's still really pretty though. I can barely even tell what the art is for this. I know there's like a like a couple birds on it. Yeah, give everyone else smothering type. Yeah, just break the game. Well, that's cool. That's a big hit. We'll take it. Cruel ultimatum, another big hit. Well, a, a good card at least. Cactus preserve. It enters tap. Add one man of any type that you can. Okay. Until the end of turn, cactus preserve becomes an XX green plant where with reach where X is the greatest mana among your commanders. Hmm, weird. Ooh, another big. Bristlebud Farmer. He's a plant druid. And Annie joins up. All right. So we have, we got a textured foil. Okay, I will take that. Um. Huge. Bristlebud is insane, by the way. I haven't read it. Let's take a look. I have not read it. Um, why does the cactus have reach? Um, bro... Pro, progeni, progenitus and Ulama. Bro? Uh, mm, don't get me started. Okay, trample. Four drop, trample, five, five. Uh, when Bristlebud enters the battlefield, create two food tokens. This is already broken. That's so much. Let's continue. Whenever it attacks, you may sacrifice a food. If you do mill three cards, you may put a, you may put a permanent card from among them into your hand. What? What? This is so good. There's so much value on this. Four mana. Trample, two food on ETB, on attack, more value. Well, well, all right. Well, well, let's get this bad boy sleeved up. Five, five, trample for four, for four, by the way. Yeah, it's over, man. Yu-Gi-Oh. It's time to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh. Love it. Looks good. Our first uh, texture. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. Did not even expect us to get a single texture this whole time. All right, let's see if I can remember uh, the, the card trick Peanut just taught us. Because that was, I'm not going to lie, kind of a nightmare. So we do token. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five. Should be a land. Yeah, you know your boy's got that fucking memory. You know your boy's got that memory, that stinky, dirty ass memory. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Forest. Don't care. Okay, we got a little, some sort of native looking gentleman flying. Cool. Don't care. Red Rock Sentinel. Beast Bound Outcaster. Holy cow! I love this card. It's very cool. It's cute. Got the memory, but not the eyesight. That's all right. Prickly Pear. That was mean. Spinewood Paladin. Oasis Gardener. Is this a little naked man? What is this? You guys are going to have to be my eyes for me. See for me. Sing to me, Paolo. Heartless Pillage. Thornado. You have superpowers? I didn't see what you said, Ash. That's unfortunate. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. It's an ornery tumble wag. Imagine losing the game to an ordinary tumble wag. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Okay. When he attacks while saddled. Oh, it's another mount. Double the number of plus ones on target creature. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, there's a good hit. Oh, <laughs> I've definitely won a game with this card before. Oh, <laughs> woo, big hit. Oh, mm. we would also like one of these in the uh, textured foil. 
but still, um, banger. This card bangs. Uh, I have used this card to... Hold on. This card is in one of my decks. This card is in my Eureka deck. And this card was the only card that stopped. It was a seat. We are playing CDH, and I was playing against... Uh, what's his name? Krark and Sakashima. Need I say more? The combo got out. The dice were, or the coins were flipping, and shit spells were bajillion spells on the stack. So what I do? All these spells get out. All stack, 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 stack. Mind break trap. Zero cost. Countered everything. Turns over. Win the game. It was uh, most clutch card ever. This card bangs. Looking sharp, my dude. Thank you. That's a big hit. We take those. Sand Scout. Gold vein Hydra. Oh my god. Okay, let's read what Which this clear is. sleeves do you use when double sleeving? Um KMC perfect fits, the little Japanese ones. Alright, let's read it. Uh okay, X and a green vigilance, trample, haste. Gold vein hydra enters a battlefield with X plus one one. Okay, so you can pay for its power and toughness. When it dies, create a number of tap tra Yo. Yo, what is going on with green? They're getting juiced. Oh, yes, big hit too. Okay, that's Lotus Ring. Lotus Ring is absurd. Huge hit. We want this in the other uh, framing, but this is still a this is still a banger card. Let's read it. Okay, I, I this is huge. This is a good huge pull. This is a great box. God damn, uh, indestructible. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Why do they do this? Um, three drop. Equip creature gets plus three, plus three, has vigilance, and tap. Sacrifice this creature, add three mana of any one color. Yes, the equip cost is three, but this is so broken. You can break this card so easily. Um, thinking about buying magic cards because I love the art and don't know how to play. Brother, you can learn how to play commander so easily. It's not broken, it's lame. In cert No, it is in certain decks. If you can, which uh, there's a lot of decks that can cheat equipment cost. If you can cheat... Um, the equipment cost. It's insane. My dog barked over your answer. Which clear sleeves do you use? <laughs> KMC. Check out the tokens for the bow. Oh, 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 I need to do this the cool way. Let's do this the cool way. Ooh, ooh, texture. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. I don't know if I want to do it this way because then I feel if there's texture. Okay, Swamp. We got it. Miriam. Herd Whisper. Nope. Tomb Trawler. Nope. Unfortunate accident. Oh, is she trapped on the railroad? Lonely Arroyo. Bandit. Cacti Cactarantula? Oh, good heavens. Oh, good heavens. Peerless Ropemaster. Tyrant Scorn. And for our possible foil. Nope. <clears throat> Abrupt Decay. Not a bad card. Detention Sphere. An annoying card. Arcane Heist. That guy's dog here. Bark, 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 bark. Hey, I'm that guy's good dog. One. I did it again. You might want to tell him one more time. All right. Hey, good one, Chatters. <clears throat> you nailed it. All right. Maybe we do a... Um, can the etch... I guess the etch foil stuff can only be in the first slot. Maybe we do a mega pack of it. I don't want to feel, though. I can see. I can instantly feel, and I know this doesn't have it. And I could just lie to you guys and say, oh, there could be one, but we'll stop doing it like this. I do, I do like turning it over and it's instantly the land. That's kind of cool. But I don't like that I can feel. I shoot the sheriff. I don't like that I can feel it. It ruins it for me. Um, I think this one's texture, guys. Ankle biter. And it has death touch. Little tip, newcomer. Give your boots a shake in the morning before you put them on. And Frank to Kellen. Discerning peddler. Can I interest you in some herbs from Nakanu, Naka to Nakanami? Fresh from the almond path? Or a set of Fiorin cookware? Finest in the multiverse. And Frank to Helen Keller. Brittle pack? Journey to nowhere. And texture. Nope. Annie joins up. All right, Annie. Nobody fucking asked you. Primal Might? Give me a mana drain. Thunderclap Drake? Ooh, ooh, okay. So here is the big loot alt we're looking for, the showcase. Not the foil, not the raised foil, but you get to see it now. Uh, hostile Investigator. When Hostile Investigator enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card. Whenever one or more players discard one or more cards, investigate. 
Wah, wah. What is the, what's the fucking, Terror of the Peaks, that's what we want, Terror of the Peaks. We want, we want Terror of the Peaks. Alright, did everyone's Twitch just freeze? I'm going to do it this way, and I'm going to try not to feel if it's textured. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm just going to touch right up here. I can't tell. And then let's go through this pack. We're going to do a textured-only pack. Here we go. All right, Abrupt Decay. Vengeful Regrowth. It's a commander. Hell to Pay. That's a cool-looking card. Hell to Pay deals X damage to target creature. Create a number of tap treasure tokens equals the amount of excess damage dealt to... What? What the fuck? This just feels so... Why do we do we don't need to give them treasure? Fun crow. Get, uh, yeah. The card souvenir snatcher is traced off of a photography by Dr. Kaylee Swift of a crow having sex with a taxidermied crow. What? What? Treasure tokens. Wee. Uh, and then the commons. I won't even waste too much time on these. We've been through a lot of these. Oh, this is steer clear. Steer clear deals two damage to target attacker blocking creature. Steer clear deals four damage to that creature. If you can control the mount, oh, they want us to use mounts. All right, we'll do a little mini mega pack. That one could be the texture one. Kind of rough cutting on the side of that card. L uh, let me uh, let me be clear. All right, here, ooh, just bent the shit out of the card in the back. That's how you know I know what I'm doing. Drop the textured one right there. Ready, flip. And we have Art Me Charm. Gray Waters Fixer. Each outlaw creature card in your graveyard has Encore X. Or X is the mana value. Well, great train heist. That's a lot. Of, wait, does this card have a backside? Nope. Why does it have a plus? Is the plus mean spree? I guess so. Vis, vis, Raska, the silencer. Poop water mans? Why am I poop hey, water? Hey, the oh, dog hi. in Keebs here. The racist one. Meow, oh. meow, meow, wow, wow, wow. Love you, say it back, bitch. I love you too, and I love the new art for Fling. It's sick. I don't have to die to a fucking football now, so that's exciting. Form a posse! Posse's a confusing word, and if English isn't your first language, I feel ya. The word posse should be pronounced pose. Changed my mind. Can I recommend a good cowboy song? You can do whatever you want. All right. There. Okay, I don't think we got anything textured. I'm not gonna. Whoa! Crime and punishment. Put target creature or enchantment card from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That's kind of expensive for that. I'm not gonna lie. Five drop for that. Y'all hard to reanimate. Whoops! I just dropped a bunch of commons. That seems a little um. Seems a little expensive. Let's see what the punishment is. Destroy each artifact, creature, and enchantment with mal mana value of X. I'm not that impressed. I'm gonna I'm gonna be real. I'm not that impressed. Kitty! Talented Sprout. This is the alt uh commander, right? That's kind of a cute card. It's crazy you have to cut the card in half every time you want to play it. Yeah. Uh Bird Rogue. It's been a rough mating season for Bird Person. Botanical Sanctum. Fierce Retribution. Essence Capture. The land, the beautiful land. All right, here we go. The Mega Pack. It's only three cards. It probably won't be shit because I felt them already. Glizzy. Ooh, Assimilation Aegis. Am I saying that right? I don't know. A lot of words. Someone can read it. Ah, <sighs> three steps ahead. We'll take anything. Give us a mythic. Give us a mythic. Well, boys, that's it. That's all we had for today. Uh, um, we had one box and that's it. That's it. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for some normal content. And that's it. That's all we had. That's it. That'll do. That was fun. Oops. Don't tell mom. Now, boys, I will say we've looked at the set. I've shown you the cards. We can get a little degenerate. We can get a little degenerate here. I think we should. Mama's dead. Good. A second box has hit the stream. Yes, sir. So what was our biggest pull? We pulled a mind break trap. We pulled a textured foil. Not the biggest textured foil. The, not the best. day you buy only one collector box is the day I eat my shoe. Oh. 
Okay. I yeah, I hear you. Three, two, one. Give me something big. First pack, new box, boom. Pest infestation, piece of shit. Pariah. Don't care. Thunder clap. I'll read what it does now. I just spit. Flying. Instant and sorcery spells cost one less. Cool. That's pretty good. You can pay two and a blue. Sacrifice it when you cast the next instant or sorcery spell this turn. Copy it for each time you've cast your... Ooh, okay. That actually ain't bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ooh, Kellen the Kid! I hear this is a good commander. Flying lifelink. Whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, you may pay... You may cast a permanent hey, spell Wubby. with equal... How's less... the little Humunculus deck coming along? Good. I haven't started yet. Dude has an energy sword. He does. He does. Riku of many paths. Repulse. Humiliate the land. I don't care about the commons anymore. If you care about the commons, you're in the wrong stream. Okay. This is the I'm here for the fucking textured, raised foil, dookie ass. Okay. We're not here for the commons. We don't care because we're going to pull something crazy right here. Focus, focus, focus. Boom. Okay. Okay. I can't remember if this one has value, though. It's a good card. If an opponent searches your library, this turn you pay zero rather than... Uh, sorry, this... Okay, I don't think this is super value. But I like it. It's a good card. I have this in my... Um, Bru what was his name? Bruno? Who's the guy that makes you mill? Um, What's his name? Bruvac? Is it Bruvac? Bruvac. It's Bruvac. Yeah, I'm a Bru Bru Bruvidiot. Jackie Chan. Ooh! I wanted to make this a deck. I wanted to soup up the com the new commander deck. This will never hit the table. No one's going to let this play. First off, the art is gorgeous, but look what it does. Spells you cast but don't on cost one less. Okay, sick, right? Super good. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, look at the top card of the target of that player's library, then exile it face down. You play like a Nobody likes people doing that. It's like it just this deck. I'm sorry. Don't get got by this. No one's going to let this play. Everyone target targets you. Oh, there he is! Hey, oh, but he's not foil. It's not what we're looking for. Loot the key to everything. What does this guy even do? He has ward one. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X cards of your library, where X is the number of card types among other non-land permanents you control. You may play one of those cards this turn. This is this is is this good? Man, I don't think I don't know that this is good. It can be. I don't know. It seems kind of boring. It seems kind of boring. Read it again. Did I? What did I read wrong? It's not one of. Play all those cards, not one. Oh, wait. Oh, you may play those cards. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that is not bad then. But it's not, it still doesn't interest me that much. That ain't bad, yeah, but it's like, it's also not that fun. All right, here we go. Texture, three, two, one. Ah, oh, focus on me. Ah. Oh. Es esoteric Duplicator. How's that for reading? Uh, whenever you sacrifice Esoteric Duplicator or another artifact, you may pay two. If you do, at the beginning of the next end step, create a token that's a copy of it. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm, okay. Okay, I see some synergy. Okay, hey, there we go, another archive trap. Lock and load. Draw a card, then draw a card for each other instant and sorcery you've cast. There's our boy, our loyal steed, hell to pay. We've seen you. Okay, terminal agony. Oh, whoa, hey! Forest and the comments. The Rofi. So breakable with Crank Clan Iron. Bro, you're spitting right now. Focus. I'm gonna move this foil out of the way because the camera keeps catching it. Capture the treasure there. Oh, stupid fucking owl. Don't care. Ooh, Oko! Hate this card. Hate this card. Hate this card. Stop printing this card. Hate this card. Value. Value. Foil, even more value. It's not foil. Hate this card. Broco, real though. This card is insane. I, you know what I hate about it too? You uptick him and you you um the, like you make a creature an elk 
And if that's the only thing you do with him, you still get another chance with him. Because even if you swing with the elk, you only bring him down to two. Oh, he's so broken. I hate him. I hate this card. Carlos is the only one at the table who plays this card, and that's because Carlos is Omega Cringe. We write it on. The texture falls like 100 bucks. Yup. Yup. This is the guy! I want to make a deck with this guy. I love it. I love, I love Ox Tribal. It's so cool. He's so cool. Uh, Oxygen Control have Double Strike. Banger. Uh, whenever Bruce Tarl, Roving Rancher, enters the battlefield or attacks, exile the top card of your library. If it's a land, create a 2-2 Ox. Awesome. Otherwise, you may cast it. Love it. Love it. Ah, cool. The Unrepentant. Cringe. Murder. Hey, Wubby, what do you do after stream when you put up the cards? I feel like it's the end of the Indiana Jones movies where you're wheeling a cart to a warehouse where you put up your cards in a crate. <laughs> um, I, when I'm done with a set and I'm officially done opening boxes from the set, I will um, go to a big warehouse with a wheel. No, I, I alphabetize the rares and mythics, put them into boxes and store them. Boom. Oh, kill the kid. No. It is the good one. It is the good foil. It is good to see, but it is not what we want. Surgical extraction. Kind of cool. Heartless conscription. Exile all... Eight exile all creatures for each card exiled this way. You may play that card for as long as it remains exiled. And may Ooh! 30. This is not the guy from before. This is Bristly Bill. How could we forget Bristly Bill? Whoa! Grand Abolisher. Um, but let me add kind of inappropriate that he has a fox on his head you know in a game where i draw the line at grand abolisher having a, a small animal on his hat that's where i draw oh sorry this is the wrong this is murder excuse me um i draw the line at a cowboy using fur in his outfit i'm pito's on the horn tyrant scorn fierce retribution that man has a hole in his chest but again you know we all need to pick our battles here ah the blood hustler that's fine. I'm sure she means well. I'm sure the blood gave consent. Um, murder? Okay. Imaginary cowboy with imaginary hat. I cast murder. Three, two, one. Textured. You owe me. Uglies. Outlaws merriment. Are they playing with fireworks? Vengeful regrowth. One last job. I was going to make this uh, a commander. But I'm sorry, but the fucking... What's his name? Um, What's the zombie guy's name? The, wh hell, wh he's got like a... God, what's his name? He's got a cleaver. No, not not, not Crick. Um, Will help. Him. Will help. Yeah, he's my new commander. He's really good, too. He's really good. He's really good. And I added a bunch of new zombie cards from this set to that deck, but Will Neff is just too good. He's like, uh, you can, he creates a zombie whenever a zombie dies, comes back with decay. Whenever, uh, at the end of your, at the beginning of your end step, you can sack a zombie, draw a card. So good. Shouts out Will Neff. Boom! Ooh, we have not pulled one of these yet. If you like Wilhelm, you gotta try Grim Grin. Tell me about him. Sell me on him. Sand Scout. Oh! This is our guy! Oh, you can get this in the crazy foil? Oh, that's probably got so much value. Oh, he looks so different here. Still a good hit. Great hit, even. Claim Jumper! So this card, on ETB, you're gonna get warm bread served with butter. Um, when main phase one, if he's still in your control during main phase one, you could get a sampler. Um, or maybe like a, like a bison burger. I'm not sure what they're serving this time of year. Do they even have claim jumpers anywhere other than San Diego? I don't know. But it's a kind of a mid-restaurant. I will say, when I was a kid, claim jumper was um, like what I knew to be fancy eating. Claim jump, you lost me there? Okay, claim jumper is like a cowboy restaurant here in San Diego. And it's, uh, I used to think, like when I was a kid, that was like, oh, you just graduated high school? We're going to fucking claim jumper, bro. You earned it. That was my shit. That was like, nah, son. Chili's, we got too much money for that. We're going to claim jumper. We're going to claim jumper. Now, I've been to claim jumper a little more recently, and I'm like, damn. 
is kind of dog water. Does it still exist? It does. Ha noon. I like this card. Each player can't cast more than one spell this turn, and you can sack it, deal five damage to a player. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, claim jumper, super mid now though. Sandstorm Salvager. There's a sh there's a um, card in here called Raise the Dead or something. I I, I want to if we see it, I want to read it to you. I really like what it does. Pretty much all chain restaurants are worse than they used to be. Yeah, or just we we just got older. Skullcrack got hit by the fling guy. I noticed that. I noticed that. Treasure. Uh, okay, it's a pony. <laughs> what is this? A game for women? <laughs> Fell the mighty. Excuse me. Bounty board. Don't care. Oh, we're getting so many of these. Legion extruder. Next. Uh, poop. Next. Don't care. All right. Yep, we've been there. Come on. I'm seeing a whole lack of uh, expensive parts. Bounty board is really good flavor. Next time I pull it, I'll read it. <clears throat> Mostly chain restaurants are owned uh, by private equity now. Is that why they suck? Boom! Oh, unlicensed hearse. Exile two target cards from a single graveyard. Unlicensed hearse power is equal to... Are, are each equal to the number of cards exiled with it. Ugh, is this good? Is it? I don't know. I feel so not impressed with um, vehicles. Ever. Ever. Blue Marsh. Ha noon. Thornado. Land. Did they do a collab with Red Dead Redemption? Yeah, they did. They had to get... So they actually, have, from Rockstar, uh, Wizards of the Coast actually had to buy the rights to Cowboys from Rockstar. Very expensive. It's why the set took so long. They had to purchase the... the to use the term Cowboy, they need to license it from um, Rockstar Games. And that took years. Three, two, one. Oh, Duels of the Mind. You don't have any texture. Crackle with power. Still a good card. Embrace the unknown. This is cool. Exile the top two cards of your library until the next turn. You may put a lot of like playing from exile in this set. Outcast or Trailblazer. Is he riding a giant lizard? Tarnation Vista. This is a good card, I believe. Um, I believe this is a good card. You, I, I feel like, okay, I read this card and I go, this is really good. But I also go, what deck do I put this in? Um, no, it's not. It's a very bad card. Dude, the, the difference in chat just went, this is a banger card. This is a terrible card. Like slivers. It's like a worse bloom tender. It's terrible. Give it to me. Oh, okay. That's valid. Th that's the thing though. I will admit, I thought it was a good card. And then I sat here holding it the other day and I went, what deck do I even put this? In? I'm like, ah, it doesn't work there. It doesn't work there. It's mid. Have you pulled a Ram Ranch yet? You get 18 one, one human creature. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm looking for it right here. This was the last pack, by the way. This was a very mid box. This is, I love the new Path to Exile. Looks sick. Ew, a thieving varmint. Rush of Dread. Step Between Worlds. That's it. This was the box. See, look at that. That's what could happen, boys. Don't gamble. Look at what we, look what happened here. Terrible, terrible. There's a lot of playing from Exile because it's a Western deck, so they're all outlaws. Yeah, and there's a lot of, like, play other people's cards. All right, that's it, boys. That's all we got for today. That's all we got. That's it, unfortunately. That's all we got. As the boxes continue, the degeneracy is only going to go up. Because I, as I, lo I lose patience. I'll be honest with you. I, I lose... I'm on roids right now, you know. I'm on my first trend cycle as administered by a doctor into my vein. Magic tonight? Yeah, I'm down. Uh, it's been a while. We actually have not played Magic as a group in a while, but guess what? I'm not going to let my friends come over unless we get some sort of big hit. So you better hope. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, you get fooled, you can't get fooled again. Trend eyes, three, two, one. <sighs> Stupid bitch. Oh! Oh, no, why can't you? Oh, I can't be mad. I can't be mad. It's mana drain. I can't be mad at a mana drain. It's not the foil texture, but it's a mana drain. Mana drain's a banger. Best counter spell ever printed. <sighs> Damn, it's like getting teased. I just got my dick. Ah, oh, this is such a tease pack. Oh, my balls are so blue. My dick is so swollen and I cannot come. I cannot come. There is no... Oh, God. I am in terminal agony. I am repulsed. 
I am island. Oh, does that count as a hit? I don't even know. Oh, yuck. Oh, it's like such a good pack, but such a... Ah! Oh! And then, and then you start to think like, well, there, there's my luck, right? That's my luck for this whole box. Good pack. Chase card teases, really though. Do not come. Now it's gonna get real, Degen, because now it owes me big time. Ah, oh, Contagion Engine, great card. I use this in my Atraxa deck. Bonus wealth, and don't worry, my Atraxa deck is not cringe. This is my Goro Goro deck. My Atraxa deck is not cringe. It's a Planeswalker deck. Shut up. I don't use Atraxa for all your cringe shit. I don't infect. It's a Planeswalker deck. It's fun. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that's cringe. I'm. A, you know what? I'm gonna call spade a spade here. I'm just gonna say it. If you lose to my Atraxa deck, literally, literally skill issue. Literally skill issue. There to lose to a Planeswalker deck is so simply your fault. I'm calling you out. Sorry. It it to lose to a Planeswalker deck. In a game of Commander, you are simply ignoring the board state 24-7. Are you a mono board wipe, though? No? What do you mean? Super Friends is so degen. Super Friends is so bad. Like, it's so counterable. Do you want to know the counter to my Planeswalker deck? Have any creatures on the field and swing them at the Planeswalker. I have three creatures in the entire deck. In that Planeswalker deck. Uh, Super Friends is bad until it's not. Have you played any Minskin Boo? I had a Minskin Boo commander deck. I disassembled it. It was just good. It was good and didn't feel good. Uh, so anyway, guys, Tiny Bones, is it a baby? I think we really need an answer on that, like now. Because I think it's a baby. I don't think it's a little midget. Um, that would be that would be my retard play group. Needs to swing at the Planeswalker. They never... they My Planeswalker deck could literally never succeed at the table again if people just played against it correctly. When is the next media share? Uh, next Sunday. Three, two, one. Decimate. Reanimate. Banger. Doubling season. Alt Ugin. Okay, but you have to think, though. I want you to think, Peanut, because you're not thinking clearly. Doubling season is a five drop. Ugin is a seven or I've eight. I've seen pretty much we're every talking, Magic Monday, but... We're talking 12 or 13 mana to end the game. If you aren't prepared for a... If we're at a point in the game where 13 mana can be spent in one turn and you can't do something about it, the game is probably over anyway. If it's not me, it's you. It's the, the two-card combo that's like, well, two cards you win. It's 13 mana, both cast, both can be countered. That's the thing. If you, I, I will say it again. If you let it happen, absolute skill. It's a 13 mana win. Seven mana, only two cards. It's not, though. It's a 13 mana. It's, it's, it's so hard to pull off. Um, it happens a lot because I just think people aren't prepared for it um skill issue that's what i'm saying it looks like his interior fontanelle has closed meaning he is at least over a year old but by the looks of the skull it looks more like an adult skull that being said i have no idea what the intentions of the artist were so i'm just going going with your hypothesis that this is a skeleton baby <laughs> i i i do appreciate the uh the medical examination of tiny bones but i don't like that you kind of left it open to interpretation babies can't shoe kids size clothing what are you guys look at the goddamn baby bones is it a baby damn it we literally pulled this card not a bad card but still dust bowl hitting the old dusty trail dead before sunrise marchesa don't care duels the mine we've seen you tornado and land happens to the best of us Are we not doing, are we doing phrenology? No. Everything is open to interpretation if you think about it long enough. That's so true. How about this? Interpret this texture foil right here. Ah, smuggler surprise. I don't care about a Trojan Hell or Horse. Void Rend. This card is difficult to look at. Angel of Indemnity. There, oh, there it is, boys. Here is the most Omega cringe card in the whole set. If you made a commander deck with this, you're boring. I'm sorry. This is so. This is just. Obeka is just. It's just a loser mentality. You know. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit you with the ninja mindset here. It's just. It's too obvious. Thank you for saying that. It's just so. I can smell the person who saw this and went, yeah. Uh, let's read what she does. She has menace. 
whenever, first off, the color combo of this. What is it called? I don't know the names of them all. I, I don't know. I, I've never committed them to memory. Uh, blue, uh, black, and red. Grixis, that's what it is. So just the filthy, like literally the filthiest combo. Okay, whatever. Um, whenever Obeka's splitter of seconds deals combat damage to a player, she has menace, by the way, so you know that's going to be happening. Uh, you get that many additional upkeep steps after this phase. <sighs> it's just, it's just cringe. It's just classic Obeka manipulating the game so you can play solitaire with yourself. You have a Bruvac deck, your opinion is invalid. I disagree. And also, I'm going to say it right here. Uh, 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 Bruvac, uh, uh, while it is cringe and making people mill is cringe, it is still more honest magic than this shit. What is this? What are upkeep steps? Um, it's in the... It, it, it's a, This is going to be a way for you to manipulate benefit off cards that say at the beginning of your upkeep. Mill decks are not cringe. I'll say this. Oh! Mill decks aren't cringe because they're frankly bad. My Bruvac deck uh, uh, does not, or is it Bruno? I can't remember his name. It doesn't win games. It really doesn't. It's so counterable. It's so stoppable. It's like what I was saying with my uh, Planeswalker deck. It's so cringe, Robbie. It's like, yeah, but like, you got to remember, it's, it's, you literally, it can be stopped in a four player pod like that. And it always does. Um, all right. I haven't read this one yet. Five drop. Create a choice of blood token, clue token, or food. We're going to go with blood. Sacrifice three artifact tokens with different names. Search your library for an artifact card. Put on the battlefield. Oh, oh. is that good? That feels kind of good. Can we get your commander deck list uploaded to Moxfield. Um, people are already doing that. Every time I show you guys a deck, somebody uploads it to Moxfield, which is a little weird, but it's also kind of useful. Mill is fair because it pisses off casuals and makes them target you. That's the thing, too, is like... I've hey, Wubby, Jeff Bezos yeah. here just got word you're showing a dead baby on stream. That's seven days. See you in a week, bud. Well, no, we, it's not a baby because the the crotch or whatever, the, 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 the crotch and the skull doesn't line up. Check this out, though. Nope. Grindstone, good hit. Grindstone's All a good I'm saying card. is this. If you play a blue deck that counters and mills, you deserve to get bullied, you nerds. I will say this. And in a lot of times in Commander, the best deck is not targeted. It's the one that people perceive to be the most annoying. So mill decks are not good. They're not. They're not going to win the game. They're not. And people bitch, oh, you're playing that? Like, literally? I, I don't want to even call anyone out specifically, so I'm just trying to think. People will sit down with, like, sweat dripping decks and i'll be like okay i'm gonna play mill and they go what you're gonna play oh please can you play something i'm like bro it the oh i have to mill 300 cards out of you people and all you need to do is get your two drops down and you're gonna go infinite okay oh there's phyrexian altar it's over like relax bro relax um three two one oh oh no oh 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 Oh, we're so close. This is the closest we've been. Oh, so this is the foil showcase, but not the raised foil. Oh, generous plunderer. What do you do? You have menace, human rogue. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may create a treasure token. Hey, look at that. Obeka. Obeka. I think you go infinite here soon. Obeka. Um, when you do target opponent creates a tapped treasure token. Oh, so they don't even get the value. You can just keep going. Uh, whenever Generous Plunder attacks, it deals damage to defending player equal to the number of artifacts they can... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How does it go infinite? I'm not saying it goes infinite. I'm saying I guarantee there's... Like, I'm, I don't know enough about, like, upkeep triggers to find a way to make this go infinite, but I guarantee we could figure it out. Outlaw's Mirrorment. Crackling Spell Slinger. This is cool. It's a good card. When Crackling Spell Slinger enters a battlefield, if you cast it, the next instant or sorcery you cast a turn has Storm. There's our bristly bill. Concealed Courtyard. Um, I made a guy draw 25 cards for a win. It is a good feeling. It I went looking feeling. for my 30-year-old magic cards, but couldn't find them, but did find my dragon dice. Ever play Ooh. that? No. Bristly bill is like 20 bucks right now. 
That's not bad. We'll get, here we go. Watch this. Give me more. I love coming out with sheer confidence for nothing. Dune Chanter. <clears throat> We're flying through these. That planes is sick. I love the the lands. Doom Chanter is kind of pog. Not as pog as this. Damn it. And just looking at this dumbass little lizard guy after saying that. Archive Trap again. Forger's Foundry. This is from the Fallout set. They slipped it in there. Botanical. Okay, cute little fuckable cat. Love to see it. Humiliate. Mountain. Next. Hamburger cheeseburger run. <clears throat> the box has has been such a slap in the balls. Yeah, it hadn't been great. Hadn't been great, but that's okay. We keep going. Stay focused. Stay strong. Get ready. Etched foil. Three, two, one. Archive trap. If I have to look you in the eyes again, your bleeding little eyes, I'm going to scream. Anguish on making. Cool. Elemental eruption. You're not the terror dragon that I was looking for. Woobert, I'm working on painting an Age of Sigmar Night Haunt army, and it's insane how little I've got done in a week. That's crazy. How's your rammer army coming? My rammer army? What's my rammer army? I'm late. I'm late. I'm late, but you're not too late. You've just missed bad pulls. My Warhammer army is painted and ready to go, and I will show you guys soon, actually. Boom. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Oh! Good card. But not the good card, but a good card. When Vaultborn Tyrant or another creature with power four enters the graveyard of the battlefield under control, you gain three life and draw a card. That's absurd. Uh, when Vaultborn Tyrant dies, if it's not a token, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. This is such a good card for Yes, such a good dino card. I bet Peanut foams over this. Life gain dinosaur, you know it. Good card. Would love to see it. He's already in Atla. Should be, brother. He's good. All right, last pack of You're this box. You're a bitch box. for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're a bitch for that. Here we go. Three. Two. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm. Gonna, I'm just looking. At chat I just got here, Wubby. Right. Can you put all the cards back Anything in the good? packs and start again? Is it good, chat? Is it good? I'm, I can't see it. Yo. Oh! It is good. Oh shit. Well, it's not crazy good, but it's it's not the Oko we want. But it's good. It's the worst Oko though. Unlucky. It's a uh, wrong Oko. All right, thanks idiot. I'm saying, "Oh, this I I'm going to throw this card in a deck. I don't care where. It's just this is so ridiculous." Um back for more and that's it. All right. All right guys, we're all out of packs. I hope you guys enjoyed the opening. I had fun. I hope you had fun. Um this is, oh, this is just, I'm cleaning up the trash with this. That's it. That's all we got. That's all we got. That's all we got for tonight. That's the Oko. Oh, no. <laughs> you okay? Why is everyone saying calving? I'm not calving. That's it. All right, I'm in stream. Bye, everybody. See you Wednesday. How about five CS cases to round us off? I can tell Wubby was insecure about his fingertips because of how scraped they were. Also, hi, Renu. I'm not insecure about my fingertips because of how scraped they were. I was chewing on my little phalanges because I was in the hospital, brother. Where are you? You guys, you guys really should go to school. <laughs> Y'all want to analyze so bad. At least get like an education. You know what I mean? Uh, all right, let's continue. Here we go. No, you. No, you. I tried school, bro. I dropped out harder than um, uh, than someone who drops out hard. Oh God, bitch! I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I care! I care! I care! I care! But it's not okay. Great hit. Very playable hit. Fantastic hit. Not exactly what we were looking for. Shit ass sword. Such a good sword. Don't even. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, mm, we take it. Good start. Is it a good start or is it blowing your load early? Did we just start making love? Bobby, did you miss the box toppers, Kappa? You're lying. You're lying. There's no box toppers. You're lying. You're lying. There's no box toppers. That's going in a bunch of my decks. It really should. Is this a sign of things to come or did we blow our load early?
I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But the two back-to-back -back big hits and two back-to-back -back packs. Uh, this is. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Is it a good box or is it over now? And we got loot, and you get to see the art that made the internet very mad. The slot is hot, boys. The slot is hot. Loot the key to everything with his dumb little punchable face. The slot is hot. You know what they say? We got a sand down here in Texas. Okay, two words, baby. Keep gambling. Let's get it. Why did it make the internet mad? I Can I be honest with you? I don't know. I don't know. Hot slot. Here we go. Come on. Uh, hot slot. Come on. Come on. Hot slot. Here we go. Come on. Hot slot. Ice cold. It's ice cold now. People just thought it was some cringe Digimon looking art. Man, that sucks for the poor artist who made that shit. Hot slot. Here we go. Come on. Boom. Ah, oh, Mind Slaver. It's okay. That's okay. It's okay, baby. You gotta be nice. Ah. I see the, the art here and I freak the fuck out. I freak the... Oh, I thought this was Terror of the Peaks. It was not. Um, let's, let's treat chat. Let's, 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 let's wine and dine this next pack. What do you think? Don't worry guys. This is the box with the Mox diamond. At least the artist who made it could make a bag on Digimon furry art. It's okay, baby. Oh. Mm. Mm. Chat, give it up. Y'all can't analyze these little eyes. Let's treat ourselves to a real Dejan box. Mm. <clears throat> I think I may have won. Oh, it's me! It's me! It's a dwarf warlock. Tiny Bones, what do you guys think? Baby? Oh! 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 Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage, put a charge counter on this bitch. Remove a charge counter from this bitch. Choose one. Untap target land. Target creature can't block. Put a plus one counter on a quick creature. Oh, footing. Okay, so we, we went a little hard there. I think we maybe scared the pack a little bit. All right. So let's go a little gentler. Maybe we'll ask for consent this time. It's a, you know, it's a bad mistake to make, but... You gotta give me a chance. Excuse me. I'm gonna... I, oh, no. May I tear off your panties? I saw a yes. You can't take it back. I saw a yes. Don't want to derail Magic Monday, but I went to urgent care this morning. Got an x-ray before the doc <gasps> twisted my busted shoulder till I screamed. After that, he left and never came back. I'm sorry Nurse to hear that. Nurse came in with my discharge papers and politely told me to get the fuck out of their bed. All right. My discharge papers have upper okay. arm pain and swelling as my okay. diagnoses. I couldn't stop thinking. I'm sorry? <laughs> This was a good pack. This was a good pack. Consent got us a better pack. Still though, I would say we've had decent pulls. We hit the sword, but we haven't. Uh, Jay's telling you to play him for real though, bro. Hey, Come on. Wubs, how do you hey. rank the big villains? Talking Eldrazi, Nicole Bola, Phyrexians, and Slivers. How do I rank them? I, that's I Oh, there's rest in peace. I love this card. I want to show you guys this. I love this card. When it enters the battlefield, exile all graveyards. If a card will be put into a graveyard, exile it instead. I love this card. I love the art for it. I love the flavor for it. It's so good. This card is so good. It's a two drop. It's so good. It's so dirty, bro. It's so good. I love it. I can't wait for it. Ooh, generous plunder again. It's such good graveyard hate. Oh my God. And, and. Hey, Wubby. I'm that yeah. guy's shoulder. Don't worry about him. He was just being a bitch. Okay. Thank you. I mean, yeah. 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 Damn! Torpor Orb, we're getting pretty- This is a good box! It's gonna- It's not gonna make me jump and scream, but these are solid pulls. Torpor Orb, I love the look of it. This is not cancer, guys. This goes right into Kozilek. Goes right into Kozilek. Discreet Retreat. Botanical Sanctum. Sanctum. Pillaged Bog. Back from- uh. Good deck building material. Yeah, just good positive plays for the table. Keeps everyone happy. Torpor Orb is my way of saying, guys, I don't want to stop playing Magic. 
Let's keep the game going. Forever. Is that a good guy or a bad guy on your shoulder? A good guy. Check out this, though. Boom. I ought to just do the world a favor and crumple this fucking card up right now. Overwhelming forces. Good. Embrace the unknown. Still no Terror of the Peaks. Unlucky. No Terror of the Peaks. Do it. You won't. No balls. You're correct. Why do we hate Obeka? Because I th feel like Obeka is just such... Is just The mechanic is cringe to me. It's just an opinion, man. Void Slime. Dead Before Sunrise. Railway Brawler. Murder. I just don't like the type of magic Obeka plays. And I have decks that are like that, and they're annoying too. And I get it. I'm retarded, Wubby. Give me advice hey, for talking to women. do you think the hospital would let you run a vintage pack through the MRI next time? That would be so sick. Because he hates my Obeka deck. Not, can I be honest? I don't even hate your Obeka deck. I, I don't hate your Obeka deck as much as I hate your fucking gr mono green. What is that thing called? Silvala. I'm going to go through all my friends right now, and I'm going to say one deck that needs to be banned from the table for each friend. Peanut, Silvala. Carlos, Carlos being at the table. Um, I'm going to say for me, I'll say I'm okay with Kozilek. You can ban Kozilek. I'll give you that. That's so fair. That's so fair. Check out this, though. Oh. I think Carlos might be the king of just like uh, 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 stealing everyone's ideas. <laughs> and I see the thing is, I don't, I'm saying this, and this is like, well, hey, you don't, do you want this to get back to Carlos? I'm saying this publicly in the hopes that he's listening. Okay. Carlos is the yoinkiest and twistiest person at the whole table. And I need everyone to hear this. I have, I'm accumulating stories on him right now. And I need you to hear this. This is the truth. Okay. Booty, not a friend confirmed. There's a bunch of people we play that I didn't mention. He's live right now, so I'm telling her. No, and he knows this, and then he did this thing, thinking he's, like, cute, to try to lean. You know when your friends are like, you do this thing, it's gutty. And you go, no, I don't. And then you come back and you lean into it heavily to be like, see, I knew it the whole time. It's like, no, bro, you don't know you actually do this, but you actually do this. Okay, let me explain here. All right, Carlos, yoinks, and twists. Here's how it always goes. Somebody gets a new deck. Somebody gets a new deck. A week goes by. Carlos comes back with a new deck. Your commander will be in his deck. But his deck will be a little bit better. Okay? he do I give multiple examples. Here's... Okay, here we go. Ready? Someone sits down with a hand hate deck. A hand hate deck. Someone sits down with it. Tiny bones. Okay, whatever. Not that big a deal. A week later, Carlos sits down with a hand hate deck, but it's just better. It's just wheels. Copying wheels, cascading into wheels. He's got everything proxied, ready to go. It's like, okay. All right. That's, all right. Cool. I sit down with Grolnok. My little, fun little uh, frog commander deck. A week later, what does Carlos do? He sits down with Toad Rider. Guess who's in the deck? Grolnok. Guess what his deck does? Mine, but better. Okay, that's fine. I'll let it go. Peanut sits down with Savala. This bullshit commander taps for infinite mana. Whatever. A week later, Carlos sits down with a Hydra that taps for infinite mana. Guess who he plays? Turn three. Savala. We call him the Yoink and Twister. That, and, and, I'm t and it's, okay, hold on. I'm not even done. Why do I have all these examples? Because he's, it's so, it's so his MO. You're saying, so he's just better. Well, the unfortunate thing for him is he's not, it's not better because everyone looks at him and goes, he's doing it again, just target him. Every time, I swear, Peanut knows what I'm saying, but Peanut would never do this to his boy right now because he rides way too hard. But Peanut knows Carlos is King Yoink and Twister. He would say it in the moment. He wouldn't say it publicly. I respect that about Peanut, but Peanut, I've heard him say it to Carlos's face at the table. He would never go on camera admitting this though. Carlos is the yoinkiest and twistiest of all time. And then, as if it couldn't... So we all... We sat down. We all called him out on this at the table. You know what Carlos did? Two weeks go by, Carlos comes back with a new deck. So first off, we have someone at our table that runs Kenrith. Okay? Big old Kenny. Wooberg baby, Kenny. So already, he sits down with Kenny deck, and we're like, bro, another Kenny deck? Whatever. He goes, no, no, don't worry. This one's fun. He calls it Kenrith's birthday party. Every creature in the deck is one of our commanders. He made a commander deck with every single one of our commanders. Not only that, he made it with commanders that we have banned from our table. 
Bro sits down and tries to throw down Kozilek. When... <sighs> and, and, it, it, and you know what's funny? Is that nobody else finds it funny. <laughs> See, and then here's the thing. Now people are going, I knew you're, you're falling so victim to it because you're sheeple. Bro was so self-aware he got you. Now you want to know what happened? He, he admitted to this too. He goes, you guys were calling me a yoink and twister, which I don't think I am. So I went home and I wanted to show you guys what yoinking and twisting is. I'm like, that's so cope. That is the most cope thing I've ever heard. That's you going, I'm not a yoink and twister. I'll show you what you That's so, it's Omega cope, bro. It's crazy. Oh, it's such a great play. Well, the good thing is what makes me happy about it is it doesn't work. It doesn't, Carlos's response. Brother, I am speaking right now for the unspoken. The people of my pod agree with me but they are scared to rock the boat right now the people of my pod have said this to his face and they are scared to speak i will be the brave one carlos is king yoink and twist i'm sorry i'm sorry you're being very truthful. thank you ash thank you ash ash knows a real one i'm scared of both y'all that's fine i will speak the truth he's king yoink twister but no hate. I don't dislike the guy. I like playing magic with him. But God knows when I show up with a new deck, I give it 14 days before I'm staring at my commander in a better deck. Every time. Every time. Last pack. Damn it, unicorn. Fun Crow fact. The Thunder Junction breaking news, print of Fractured Identity, depicts crows or ravens with no nose hairs and instead their nostrils are fully exposed. This implies they could actually be rooks, which aren't in America. Most people forget crows and ravens have feathers covering about half of their upper beak. <laughs> Wait, what was Carlos's response? You guys said I was a meanie poopoo head, so I went home and le learned how to be a meanie poopoo head. Ex that's exactly what he did though. No, okay. I will, I will bring it back a little bit because I don't want anyone to think this is actual beef here. A lot of the examples I gave, like, nobody cared about. I will say, and I think to try to bridge the gap here, Carlos will probably give me... There's been a couple of them where it's like, dog, someone just made that deck. What are you doing? There's a couple. I won't get specific. There was a couple where it's like, bro, someone sits down with a hand hate deck. Ten days later, you got hand hate. Come on, come on. Get specific. No, well, no, because we're not actually mad about it. All that it really means is more decks at the table, and I like more decks at the table. I always say that. I say my Elish Norn deck. Oh, my God. I forgot. See see how Peanut's talking about it, but he's really being very subtle and not wanting to call him out directly? Notice how Peanut just brought up one I didn't even bring up? Dude, Carlos yoinked and twisted Peanut's mono white deck and just made it better, and Peanut just retired it. I'm not lying to you guys. It's a thing that happens, okay? Keeps you on your toes. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> we know Carlos versus Wubby 1v1 to resolve. There's nothing. No, that's not fair. I'm not going to go to bat for the whole pod here, okay? Because the whole pod agrees, bro. They're just scared. Look at my little hair. I'm losing, I'm losing control here. Um, all right, we went on to the next box without even talking. Well, we forgot to do more, bo no more boxes bit. I don't even care anymore. We're in this now. I'm going to go real degen. We're going to, I don't even, look at this. I don't even have time to look at these cards. They're going to be blurry. If this makes it to the highlight video, Ryan, just go crazy with it. Put something on screen, something, something graphic. Titties right here. Titties, boom. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. No more time for bits. We're in full degen mode. You guys want to see like actual degen? I'll show you. Watch this. It gets bad when I stop separating the lands. <laughs> nope. I'm just looking for set symbols now. <laughs> We've been through so many. How much value is in each pack? Well, it depends. You can get hundreds of dollars in one pack. Ryan, show these guys balls, please. His name is Ryan, not Brian. Everyone 1v1 Carlos while Ewing's and twist opponent's deck. So, like, I'm going to be sitting down tonight. We haven't played Magic in a minute, by the way. I'm going to be sitting down with my new zombie deck. I give Carlos 14 days before there's some sort of zombie on the other side of the table. <laughs> it's just known, you know? It's just going to happen. Boom! That's okay, though. I don't, um, I don't actually have any ill will. 
I feel like people are going to try to make it seem like I'm actually mad. And I am. I'm fuming. But, um, you know, my friend Tex taught me something. It's the best advice I ever got from Tex. He said, um, when someone does something, you get two options, right? Okay. You can either stop being their friend. If they're not going to stop you and twisting, you can either stop being their friend or you can just make a note that, yeah, that friend does that thing. Those are two options. So I just know that Carlos is a huge scumbag. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but he really does do it. Yo! <sighs> How's the studio coming along? It's great. Um, I actually showed it to my nurse today. My nurse came in. Uh, I've had two nurses. Hey, Wubby, if you yep. want more decks at the table, let me play. Oh, okay. Um, we, uh, my nurse was like, asked me, he's like, oh, you got a lot of magic cards here. And I'm like, oh yeah, you play? He's like, yeah, I just started getting into it. Five beautiful months of knowing and loving you. Thank you, senor. Um, and I was like, yo, we actually have like a studio we're making. And he wanted to go see it. And I took him out and showed it. And he was like, he was like, this is the coolest room I've ever seen. Dude. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. We worked really hard. Oh, Prismatic Vista. This is from the list. This is a big hit. Jesus, criminy. It's a good hit. I don't know how much it actually is going for, but it's a great hit. Trash card. We need trash card. We need trash card. A special guest. What do you mean trash card? It looks awesome. I'm not saying that we're not gonna break the bank on this, but prismatic. This is the best looking prismatic fist I've ever seen. Mid. What year is it that we're that we hate prismatic vista? Am I like really behind? Prismatic vista is great. What? Man, y'all some. It's just alcohol. Oh, rest in peace. I love the showcase. Oh, it's so good. Ancient Cornucopia. What format do you play? Your mom like a flute. You know what I'm saying? I play Commander. Whoever says that card is bad is actually Carlos a small ring. Carlos starts wearing an eye patch, yoink and twist. <laughs> Check this out. Boom. No, Carlos is uh, not a yoink and twister in real life. It's only in the pod, boys. It's only in the pod. One's in chat for Elish Norn. The, uh, the, the, the forever shelved commander deck that Peanut got to play for about four days. <laughs> oh, that's good. I for, dude, it, you know it's bad when I forgot Peanut had that deck because it got shelved so quickly. Elish Norn is my waifu. She's good. Boom. Oh, oh, no! Why? Oh! Ah! Mmm! Oh! We still take those. Oh, it's not bad. I really can't be mad about it. Oh, it's just so close. It's not textured for those. Here, I'll just show you the difference here. It's not textured. Um, and here's, this is what we wanted. Ah! <sighs> What is the price difference on this, though? It's terrible. I'll take it off your hands. Hey, thank you, man. You just have to admit that Carlos Strong's in Twist and you can have it. Um, that texture foil is nice. I know, I know, I know. 60 bucks. That's not bad. That's a... Oh! God! 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 What a pack. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hot pack for sure. That's fine. All right. All heroes must fade. That's fine. What a pack, though. Damn. This, this, is, this is good. This is juice. This is playable juice. How'd you get into magic? Uh, I did it to prove a point. Um, Alex was selling Pokemon cards, and I'm like, you should sell magic. She goes, I don't know how to play. And I go, it's easy. And she's like, okay, then learn. So I went, okay. And out of spite, I learned how to play. And then I went, yo, this is fun. And then I'm like, yo, these cards are cool. And then next thing you know, Hundred thousand dollars. I learned how to play Commander. We ride at dawn. Greed's Gambit. Not bad. Ooh, too too big. Okay. Never heard that before. Am I right, boys? You know, you know what I'm saying, boys? We need more money. That's the for real story, and I love it. I didn't lie at all. The story I just told was is actually very real. Uh boom. Oh. Boom. I like Dust Bowl. Boom. 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 He's going to be a new commander. A little fun deck I'm going to make with him. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. 
because yours are small. So the joke there I was saying, I said, we got too big. And then I said, I've never heard that. And that's a reference to saying like, oh, like, you know, like not having a huge penis. Do you need me to hold your hand while I explain this? Three, two, one. Rush of dread. Path to exile. Yeah, lock and load. Yeah, don't care. Claim jumper. Carlos is building a deck with that commander too. <laughs> okay, now you guys are leaning into it too much. This is like when I started calling my Mexican friends the Browns because I'm like, okay, we're friends. And then you guys started doing it. And I went, hey guys, you don't know them. And then I've had to stop doing it because you guys ruined it for me. I feel like the Yoink and Twist Carlos thing is now going to spread too far. And it's it's I'm, it's I'm not your joke. I can call him a Yoink and Twister. But until he twists your deck, you don't get to say that. You know what I mean? It's almost an intimate relationship we have with that. Dude! Oh, I wish I'd make it. Still a good card. Not a bad, not a bad. All right, let's, I'm gonna do one more box and I'm gonna prime you guys now. Last box, no matter what, last box of the night. I got shit to do. So let's do it last. Oh wait, oh my God, Never mind. This is the last box. No, I was saying that kind of setting this up. Nope, this is the last box that I actually have to open. So um, there you go. This, I'm not, you guys are capping and that's gonna be so disappointing. This is the last box. So this is it. Step back from that parasocial pull. This is our last chance at getting something. So what have we pulled tonight that was big? We pulled one textured, we pulled a sword, we pulled a couple mana drains, we pulled a Lotus foil showcase, but not the sketch or the etched foil. We still have time, we still have chances. Okay, okay. I don't know what this one goes for, but again, rare. Hello, special guest. So okay. So would now be a good time to get into magic? Always a good time to get into magic, man. Seriously. Um, sacrifice any number of lands. Search your library for that many land cards. Put them on the battlefield. That is such a good way to get out your basic shit. Take my luck. Huge. Huge. We like that. We take that. What the fuck? It's such a beautiful card. Yeah, bro. It's so good. Games Mischief. Embrace the unknown. Ah, memory vessel. Hello? 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 What's the best way to get started? If you're trying to play commander, get a commander deck. Or you can even go cheaper if you have time. Get like a, a made one online, 25 bucks, 50 bucks. Depends on how much you want to put in. Any price range. Name your price range. Make a deck of that price range. Find people to play with. That's my best advice. Memory Vessel. Stoic Sphinx. Still no Terror of the Peaks. Still no um, only one textured foil and no raised foil. And we do it. That was a pretty good emotional cactus. Um, I feel like we may have just blown our luck with scape shift there. Any chances? Uh, oh, what'd you say? Our chances different pulling from store-bought pack? Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be different. Ooh! Cervex, the Punisher. That's what they, I call my old penis. Uh, buy Wubby's deck on Moxfield? Yeah, it's a little budget deck to get you started. Commander. Rumbleweed. Legion, we keep pulling you. Pillage. Another pillage. Okay, next. I have 400k available through a HELOC. Which deck should I buy? Um, bro, any deck you want, really. Find a mechanic that you like. Uh, Collective Defiance. Cataclysmic Prospecting. Vraska. Little, little, idiot, idiot Digimon. Savage Smash. In seven months since all let it play. Oh wait, these are paused. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Thirty-eight months. Wow. Wow, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. Just sell your house for cards. Yeah, you can live in cards. You can't live in a house. Look at. Did I just tear this up? Can I get a kiss? Look at this. And can you make it last forever? Wow. This card. Look at this. How it came out. This wasn't even Solid me, but look at how damaged it was when it came out. Like that was just from the packaging. That's crazy. Woody. All right. Texture, though. Good luck. <sighs> Vadmir, new blood. Fractured. Okay, so you're saying these aren't crows. Arcane Heist. Spire Bluff. Spire Bluff. Brother. Bluff. Don't care. Ride down. Nice to be a part of the community. Thank you, brother. Nice for Root you to be a part of the community, too. Pog. The art is so good. You're not ready for good art, bro. 55 months. Thanks for all of it. Why more?
Oh, come on. Big iron Give the pot. boys what they want to see. Let's make this highlight video work. Come on. Give the boys what they want. Humiliate. No. Play the dead south I'm buying hell, lottery tickets company. knowing that I'll win the jackpot. Should I do mm -hmm. a one ring deck on credit until I win? Yes. Months. Yes. Crow yes. card. Let's fucking yes. go. Oh, 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 fuck. Those aren't actually crow. <laughs> the guy who donated that, his name was Crows something. I love when you guys are so one dimensional. Like... Your name is the thing you get obsessed with when it, when it's on screen. Like, something about that. Oh, this is the guy! This is the new mount guy! I was going to make a commander with him. I wasn't sure if he'd be good, but... um, Like, the crow guy getting excited when a crow thing... Gets, it's just, you know... It's very funny to me. Gitrog. Like me. That guy's name is I'm Retarded. Yeah, just like you, brother. Check it. Boom! Ah, oh, Satoru. So I was going to make this guy, when I saw him, as a new commander. Then I did a little research... Instead, I just slotted him into a Goro Goro deck. And that deck is fun and honest and filthy. And Last pack of Thunder Junction. Last pack of Thunder Junction. Here we go. Every cowboy needs a hat. I'm just going to straight up drop the bottom card without trying to feel it at all. Okay. Dropped. Here we go. Void Slime. Dog shit. Dog shit. Oko. Dog shit. Is stream down? I don't even care because we only have one card left and I can feel it. There is no texture on this card. Don't freak out, but Woody's looking right at you. Gorilla penis.